Good morning, everyone. We're the MCs for today's morning assembly. I'm Rayla from PC. This is Lashmi from PC. This is Peggy and Jeffrey, both from One C. Hey, Peggy. Do you have the courage and confidence to try something you have never done before? Do you mean drugs? Of course not. Don't be silly, Peggy. I always feel I'm lacking in confidence to try new things. Me too. I never want to fail. But you know, it can be an eye opener if you try, if you dare to try new things. Yes, just like Steve and April, they took part in the dramatic duo long in this year's speech festival. It was the first time they entered this category. Wow, that was great of them. And you know what? They won the championship in the contest. Really? What roles did they play? Let's find out. We are glad to invite them to perform their dramatic group duo this morning. Let's give Sima and April a big hand. Excellence. Speaking of excellence, 
and no one of our students won first place in the public speaking category in this year's Miss Festival. I know who you're talking about. It's Yannis Pimento from 5A. He's been taking part in speech festival since 4 one. This year, he won first place in solo verse, Bible speaking, and also public speaking categories. And his score was over 90 each time. Wow, that was so, so incredible. What's the secret of success? I know, he just told me his secrets are perseverance, hard work, and support from his family. Also, he is going to try new things to challenge himself. Oh, I see. Anyway, does he speak like Laura Obama? <laughs> I don't know, but you can check it out yourself as he is going to showcase his public speaking to us now. This is why Yannis to come on to the stage to give us his speech. Yannis, please. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for inviting me here to talk to you about achieving your ambitions. First, let me ask you all, what is the definition of achieving your ambitions? Some common answers most people may give include fulfilling your dreams, getting what you've always wanted, and completing one's goal in life. Truth is, there is actually no wrong answer to the question. Everyone has their own views on this subject. So allow me to share with you three points which I believe are important to achieving your ambitions and I do hope these points will help you do so. How many of you have heard of Martin Luther King Jr. and his most memorable words? In case you didn't know, they were, I have a dream. With these three words, he captivated an entire country by letting them know that he had a dream. Which leads me to point out that before you can go and achieve your ambitions, you need ambitions, dreams, or need to set the goal for yourself first. I'm sure that since most of you are in four or five, some of you have already decided on what you will be doing in the future. If you haven't started yet, now is a good time to do so. A good question to start with would be, what do I want to be? When I grow up. A funny answer to that question is from Salvador Dali, a famous artist. He said at the age of six, he wanted to be a chef. At the age of seven, he wanted to be Napoleon. Yes, the Emperor Napoleon. And his ambition hadn't stopped growing since then. If you are only thinking about passing your DSEs and getting into university, why not look further to find out what you want most in life and make that your ambition? To help me illustrate my second point, let me tell you all a very short story. It involves J.K. Rowling. I'm sure you've heard of her, but I bet you didn't hear that the very first Harry Potter book she wrote was rejected by over 10 publishers. She didn't give up and ended up as a world-renowned author. She displayed tenacity, persistence, and most importantly, perseverance. Therefore, in order to achieve your ambitions, you must persevere and never give up. After all, I can see why Salvador Dali wanted to be Napoleon when he grew up, because Napoleon himself once said, victory belongs to the persevering. The final, and what I consider the most important point, would be to be specific with your ambitions. You may be asking, why isn't the first or the second one the most important point? The reason is that, no matter if you have an ambition, and you don't give up trying to achieve it, if it is not specific, then all that hard work would be for nothing. A lot of people say, I want to make my mark on the world, but they don't know what they want most in life and end up going around in circles. Now, let's look at Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg. Steve Jobs wanted to revolutionize the world of technology, so he created Apple. 
Mark Zuckerberg wanted to make it easier for people to socialize online. So he created Facebook. These men knew what they wanted and were specific about how to achieve it. Let me sum up the main points now. In order to turn your ambition into reality, all you need is to start with that ambition, don't give up trying to achieve it, and make sure, without a doubt, it is truly what you want most in life. Also, before I go, let me tell you my answer to the question I asked in the beginning. The definition of achieving your ambition is where you envision the successful completion of your mission. Thank you.